Hey guys, in this trick tip video, I'm gonna be covering one of my favorite tricks, a 360 underflip to cross foot or pretzel landing. So in order to do this trick, definitely be very comfortable with 360 underflips and also be very comfortable landing in a cross foot position. I've got a video tutorial for landing pretzel and also for 360 underflips, so you can check those out if you haven't seen those yet. When I was first learning this trick, the hardest part was landing on my board cross-footed and keeping my balance. This is probably what's going to take you the longest amount of time, assuming you can already do the 360 underflip part. And the best hack that I've used is to really just start slow and work your way up. Don't try and learn this trick going really fast because it'll just be a lot harder to keep your balance. The setup for this trick is basically the same as your setup for a regular 360 underflip. The biggest change happens when you actually start engaging the trick. So when I push down on the ollie and I start to scoop my back foot underneath, I'm just gonna keep my back foot going <laughs> underneath and keep it going forward so that it actually lands in front of my front foot. So it's basically gonna come, stay crouched for this trick. That will also help you keep your balance and try and give your legs a decent spread when you land. I know it's gonna be pretty hard and feel weird and I actually don't even do a great job of it. I'll, I'll try and do some better ones in these videos. And one other thing you could do, and I think I may have mentioned this in the cross-footed video, is think about it less like landing directly cross-foot and more like just kind of landing twisted, if that makes any sense at all. Um, <laughs> because if you are standing switch and you just keep spinning, you end up in a cross-foot direction. So the more vertical you are, the less cross-footed it feels. And that's another good way to kind of slowly ease into this. Try to land with your feet more vertical and then slowly switch them to be more perpendicular to your board. So I'll do a couple quick ones now and try and slow them down for you so you can kind of watch it uh, a little bit clearer. And that'll really be it. If you have any more specific questions, leave those in the comments and good luck learning this.